Markets closed down more than 1,200 points yesterday afternoon. NASDAQ dropped more than 600, and a sell-off also knocked the S&P off by 3.7%. Bond prices also fell sharply. Other than that, it was a good day. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, when stuff like this happens, we all want to know, okay, what do we do? So we have our financial expert, Jocelyn Wright, here to explain mm -hmm. what this means for us and for our 401k and how we should react. And that's always the question whenever we see days like this, should we react? Well, this isn't uncommon. Mm -hmm. um, it does happen. And so really what um, my advice is, is to remain calm. So the idea is that you should have a plan for your money. So if you're concerned about your 401k account, now is a good time to perhaps have a conversation with your advisor. Most 401k providers have a representative from the company that you can call and have a conversation with just to make sure that everything is aligned the way that it needs to be so that you can, you know, it's not gonna throw you off because this, particularly with retirement money, this is long-term money. That's a good way to put it. You don't have a crystal ball. Exactly. You know, we can't predict this. We'd stuff. all be on an island somewhere if we did. <laughs> right. Um, when, should you decide to to sell? Like, I, I give up. I'm selling some of these stocks. Typically, what we tell people to do is have an exit strategy, just as you would with most things. So if it goes down, say, 25%, that might be the time when you say, all right, now's a okay, good time to sell. that's a threshold for you is 25%. Correct. And everyone is going to be different depending on what you're trying to yeah, accomplish true. with your investments. And this could also be an opportunity if you're looking to buy. Right. It's typically with the stock market is when people get scared of a sale. You know, as consumers, we look for sales for things that we want to purchase. So now can be a good time to find those quality stocks that may be, um, you know, may have taken I a I don't hit. know enough to take risks at all. I'm just a dope. But this is when the known things sometimes are lower in cost, right? Exactly. Okay. exactly. Quality stocks. Quality stocks, right. So you want to buy sort of what we call the best in the brand. So, you know, the and top the of those markets. Things. Exactly. I guess if I need short-term money, and a lot of us do right now, the stock market is not the way to go, right? Right. If you're, you know, you have money set aside to put a down payment on a house, say in early part of next year, or your children's college tuition who may be going to school next year, that should not be invested in the market okay. because that's money you're going to need soon, so that should be in cash. All right. Oh. We don't have a crystal ball, but oh, <laughs> let's say let's say we did. Are we going to come out of this by here. the end of the year? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here. Uh, what's your prediction? Well, I think there are a lot of things that are happening. We'll see what the Federal Reserve does in terms of continuing to increase interest rates, which will have an impact. The election is coming up, so all of that is going to be an indication. Yeah. But these aren't things that we haven't gone through before. So just look back just a short period of time and, and after the pandemic. Do you happened. always wear money green? I did this today. Okay. Well, <laughs> thank you. okay. There was blood on the street yesterday, so I said, let's do green today. <laughs>